a little bit, I think, Green. Oh. Uh, she says, uh, I, I have a drinks menu also and, and, and a food menu. Which would you like to list off first? You seem hungry. Should I start with the food? Yes, if you'd be so kind. Well, um, we have crab cakes. Uh, we also have roasted potatoes with, with, with garlic and chives and parsley. Um, we, I, oh, I have a recipe for albatross drumsticks uh, and fried haddock. And I, I make a really good clam curry. Uh, but also, if, you, if you're not into meat, I, I do also have kelp salad here. Uh, is, so this, really, is this on the bar real? Sure, yeah. I, I reach my trunk over and just drag the plate over and I just start eating it. Oh, um, well, uh, yes, if, if that if that suits you. You're going to pay for that, right? Yeah, I, I, Anthony puts down the three gold that she just got from the um, little thing and, and she'll just be like, yeah, I, I promise. Oh, hang on, wait. How does it say we're offline? We are definitely not what? offline. What? We we hiccup there for a minute. Yeah. Huh. Right. Being lied to. It shows that the stream is still going though. It was just it was a different error than I usually get. It usually shows me what? the like disconnect screen, but it was like the offline screen. I was like, wait, what? What in the world? Now we're back yeah. now. So hopefully like we didn't miss too much. I didn't I didn't see when it did that, so Ooh. anyways, yeah. we're ordering food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. Really yeah, gameplay. I was like, the chat's at zero. I was like, why is that there? Dude, it's exciting. Food time. Yeah, it's, uh, show, it's showing the the session on the uh, on the stream at like twenty six seconds now. Ah, uh, well, split the vod. Did this split the vod? I think it it might have. I think it did. For me, it. for me, it says three hours. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. So maybe it didn't. <laughs> maybe it didn't. Hopefully, but, um, ig ig we'll, ignore me. <laughs> we shall see you later. Anyways, um, you place your orders, whatever you'd like. Uh, that clam chowder sounded pretty good. So very clam chowder. That sound good. Uh, Leah will be having the kelp salad. Very well. Uh, Anthena will specifically request whatever the uh, girl's name, or whatever the girl's favorite food to make is, and also ask for her name. Oh, um, my name's Abigail. Uh, ask Very for nice what my you. my favorite thing to make is. Um, uh, well, I suppose the crab cakes are pretty fun. Then I'll have those. All right. Ooh, and same here, please. Very well. Um, I I can have it sent to your to your rooms as well if if you'd prefer to to get unpacked. Seems like you got quite a lot of things there with you. And then she just kind of like turns around for a second, and you just hear her mumble under her breath. What are you talking about, Abigail? You don't usually do that. Um, uh, well, uh, re regardless, I've, I've promised it now. Um, so I I guess I can bring it upstairs. I apologize. I am quite new to this. It's all right. You're doing really well. I'm content to eat down here. If uh, I'd like to eat down here as well, if it's not too much trouble. All right. Kegox does not seem like he's going to move from this place as long as food is going. Is in <laughs> Kegox is already eating. <laughs> he's already eating. He's not moving. <laughs> Um, All right. Uh, so okay. you, yeah, you see her just kind of hurry off to begin preparing your food, and uh, a short while later, she she brings you each bowls and, and plates of of steaming food. Um, she seems very flustered as she works, um, but at the same time, um, her hand is quite practiced. Uh, so though she is rather competent, uh, she's not very confident about her own abilities. Oh. Uh, gonna... And. Uh, uh, this is, is is silly, but I'm sure we're about to just long rest. I'm gonna like look at her, um, and you know, kind of put put my arms up on the table and like really like focus, you know, my cone of attention on her. And I'll just give her like a really nice smile and just say, "You're doing really well." And uh, she gets a bardic inspiration. 
<laughs> oh uh, yeah, you give her a bardic inspiration, and she she kind of begins to like work faster, a little more a little more confident. Uh, she sort of wipes some of the, the sweat off her forehead, and uh, and refocuses herself back on the work. Um, you see her kind of like smiling to herself as she go, as she works. Yes. And uh, she uh, brings you all your food, and uh, you can eat it at the bar. Or you can uh, take it to a table, but um, you each uh, you each chomp down on your food. Uh, you guys good to go like a little bit longer. I, I just want to preface that because we are at ten, um, cool. but we can go a yeah, little I'm longer good. if you want. I, I do. We do tend to go just slightly longer on the first session just because we want to kind of hit a nice point. But yeah. um, as long as nobody needs to like immediately run. I'm, I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Then we'll keep going. Uh, yeah. So each of you uh, is handed your food. Uh, you can order drinks as well. Uh, she does have she does have uh, a selection of, of drinks. Um, but as she kind of begins to list them off to you, you, you sort of notice her in her own head realize that she's offering you a lot of alcohol at like six in the morning. Um, I was gonna say, so, <laughs> as she like begins to list them off, she's like, "Well, I've got Darwin and Braille, and uh, well, strong pike whiskey that's straight from Earthen Vault, uh, and also Sugar Swill. That's that's a halfling favorite from Summerside." And then she just like begins to trail off and just like, "Oh, but you probably don't want anything." I point my trunk to a bottle. It doesn't matter what bottle. I just point it at that and then keep eating. Uh, the the whiskey then is that what you wanted? I just give a grunt. Mm. Oh, all right, all right. And she she brings over the bottle, and she's got like this like dainty little glass that she's about to pour. No, no, I take I take the neck of the bottle and. <laughs> oh, um, oh, all right. Uh, as long as you're paying for the whole thing, I suppose. And I just start drinking. Uh, yeah, it's it's a strong pike whiskey, so it's got quite a kick to it. But I'm sure nothing you're uh, not used to, okay, go. Um, it has this kind of like peaty, earthy flavor to it. Mm, good, very good. Oh, um, I'm I'm glad you're in, enjoying it. Is everyone's food all right? Oh yes, yeah, this is mm -hmm. amazing, very delicious. She's kind of like dancing back and forth between each of you, like trying to make sure that the food's okay, and then you see her like catch herself. She, she just. Turns away and like tries to busy herself doing other stuff, and you hear her mutter to herself, "You're hovering, Abigail. You're not supposed to hover." Oh, I love her. She's doing so well. She's literally trying her best. Um, and even though like you catch her eyes kind of like flickering back to watch you guys eat to see your faces as you take each bite, um, she like it f forces herself to be busy elsewhere. <laughs> Uh, and so you guys uh, eat your food, you eat your meals, and uh, feeling a little more sustained now, a little more full, as it's been uh, only kind of uh, bare bones rations for the entire caravan trip. Mm. Uh, you probably worked up quite a hunger, but uh, after your little uh, breakfast and feeling a little more full, uh, you guys can do what you will. Uh, Camille did say she would meet you up in the attic, but uh, you can... Make your own way there when you want. If we looked at the menu, did we see like how much things cost? Oh. Are we just like um, blowing our all of our money? <laughs> well, yeah, okay, there's an entire Anthony, bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Anthony, you look at uh, you look at the um, menu that she placed down. Um, she was actually kind of like reading off of it, and she left it there when she forced herself to go do other things. Um, and you, you scan it, and uh, it's written in, like, this sort of delicate and, and really nice uh, cursive. Um, clearly her own hand. But uh, you add up the prices of all the stuff that you ordered, and then remember to include the, the bottle. Uh, and it comes to uh, six gold total. Six gold. Okay. All right. Um, I think I've got... You know, I already put the three down that I had, and I think... I'll Leo probably... will put another three down. Okay, all right, cool. I would, I actually would look to you, like, mm. <laughs> all right, and kind of just scoot that to the other end of the bar and hop up.
What is the purpose of those big towers? The towers with the um, with the sails. What is the purpose of those? Who's he asking? They're just. He's just saying it out loud. Oh, oh, the the windmills. Actually, I don't know the purpose either. Leah, you're from here. Yes. Um, I am. Gran, what's the <laughs> <laughs> Leo would know this. You, you, you think back to this information that you definitely know. Yes. Um, the the windmills of Marinhall uh, were built by a Miss uh, Phaedra Aventus, and uh, she is an artificer and alchemist who uses them to uh, basically take energy from the wind. And store it. Well, okay, Cox. Um, in basic terms, they take the movement from the wind and turn it into energy that helps the city. Uh, in fact, because you're a scholar, you would probably understand, uh, since you're a wizard, um, yeah. the gleaming that you can see at the top of each of them, kind of embedded in the center of the wheel, um, are these glowing gemstones, the, the arcane... Uh, kind of stockpile that uh, stores all that energy. So they are like totems. In a way, I suppose. Um, <laughs> oh he just God. carries it above his head. <laughs> Karen's right. just carrying it above him, like the whole thing. Like I got a windmill, guys. We're back. Uh, you were you were asking about how you can use the power, and then Leah, yeah. you asked if Kegox is a spellcaster. Shamans have have given me power before. If I am, if you say that it is free to use, then anyone can use it. Meaning, I can use it. It's I not mean, necessarily free to use in the sense that it's connected to this interesting power system that the city uses. However, if you were to take a piece from the top of it, I suppose you could use it. But I don't know if you'd be able to use it in a way that would <laughs> attach to your means. I, I want to say that there is definitely a look on his face as if he's thinking about getting a piece of this stone from a windmill at some point. Mm. That is definitely a look that is on his face. Yes, but Kegox, I can see that expression. I wouldn't recommend taking a piece off of it because we're already fugitives. And, well, um, that would probably make you more of a fugitive in this city. So perhaps we lay low and you find your magic through other means. But then the windmill system. You said it was free to use. It's free for the city hey, to use. Hey, hey, hey. We are in the city. Hey, 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 shh. Hey, um, I don't mean to interrupt, but I don't think we should be saying that out loud. Already fugitives, hmm? Says the Arcoker as he just kind of slinks in beside you, Leah. Well, uh, that's... My defense, it wasn't... <laughs> it's... A situation. Besides, the guard said it was okay. We could go. Oh, don't. <laughs> it's a loose term. It's, it's, it's loosely fugitive. Yeah. Really? Loosely. Really? It's all right. Don't worry. I'm the owner of the, the little bar in which you stand. The name is Domingo. It's a lovely place you have here. Thank you. And listen, little Camille, she's been in plenty of trouble herself. It makes sense her friends might share that uh, proclivity, let's say. But the Tipsy Quipper has a history as a pirate tavern. What happens within her halls? Hush, hush. He just kind of brings a feather to his beak and gives you a wink. You a pirate? Me? No. But our uh, killer over there, she was quite the pirate once. Are there lots of 
pirates around here. Um, from across the tavern, there's just like a, a flagon just tossed across that goes right oh. out to Mingo's head. Um, and he just kind of ducks out of the way of it and <laughs>, laughs. We're back. Yay. Uh, but Domingo just kind of gives you guys a sly wink and just goes, please, make yourselves at home. Allow me to excuse myself. And he, he slinks his way back towards the chair and begins to pluck at his loot again. And Cereza lets out a big sigh of relief. <sighs> okay. Now, if you guys don't mind, I think we should make a little bit of uh, ground rules. I don't think we should talk so freely about how we're, you know, fugitives next time. May be a smart idea. Um, especially if Leah was arrested here. Could lead to some problems. Yes, my, my apologies, sorry, sir. I I lost a bit of uh, <laughs> control over the thoughts I was saying. No worries. For now, fortune smiled upon us, but it may not do so again in the future. So, let us just agree to be a little more discreet about what transpired. I mean, technically, we were freed. Yes, but he did say he wasn't going to pardon <laughs> us. Well, so I think you guys. It's <laughs> yeah, not a judge. Yes. I believe. I believe the way that they are framing it is, um, we just so happened to escape his. Uh, uh, he has no idea where we went. Um, he woke up one morning and we were gone and, oh, they lost us. Oh, a carriage fell over the side of a cliff. Oh, terrible. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely Some... not what he said. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Definitely not what he said. Um, not so dramatic, but I do believe we should keep in mind that we were not pardoned. We just happened to... Died in a carriage crash. Uh, I don't think that's what Ed would say. We were this fine is, with, you know. This is what happened. We were set upon by rat people. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the carriage to the fence. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different carriage, all right? We It was rebuilt. <laughs> is it the real carriage? <laughs> Which one's the real carriage? Yeah, this like carriage went off the cliff. Oh, man. Okay. Do, you mean, do you mean that carriage? You the one you're on. Uh, yeah, the, the one, one you're in. We, a different one. No, we, we found a different one on the way, and then that one went off. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, as you guys are finished your meals and... Uh, Deciding what to do next, where do you go? I mean, I'm trying to find the attic. Up the that stairs, it's... probably. I mean, yeah, Camille, Camille did, did go up the stairs. Could be, could be weird layout, I don't know. Yeah, the attic is actually in the basement. Mm -hmm. Is that just a full anchor? That's how we do it here in Marinhol. Yeah, it's just a, a full <laughs> anchor, probably from a, from a pirate ship, Anthena, because it does have a skull emblazoned on it. Yeah. And it's just it's just in here. Yeah, it's uh it's for atmosphere. Oh, cool. It's like a fun um, decoration. Can I make some kind of check on this patron here just to see their general like I don't know energy like yeah you can insight check. Okay. Oh, not rolling well today. Nine. Uh, anyone else can do it too if you want. Feel free. Somebody it doesn't have to just be it doesn't have to just be one and done. You can. Well, we you can attempt it with several people inside if you want on this lady, but you don't have to. Uh, nope. Six. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the most mysterious person ever. <laughs> is we will never figure her out. <laughs> six, five, four, five, four, five, six, and a nine. 
Oh, right. just well, wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I will say the obvious. She doesn't look very happy. Um, not angry, but just like not very happy. Um, and she's just kind of like groaning and moaning to herself into her her porridge. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I think I'll look to the group. I I'm assuming we just want to get upstairs, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, it but... seems like the others are heading upstairs. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Then Athena will will continue upstairs. I bring well, my I... bottle and my food with me. <laughs> Very well. A full bottle of whiskey. A whole bottle. Me. Sorry, this is gonna fall low behind Kega. Heck it. All right. Uh, so you guys wind your way up around the stairs and uh, to the second floor of the. Tipsy Quipper. Uh, and you guys find yourselves in a hallway. Uh, the fork's off to the right. And uh, as you look down that hall, you can see that there are a bunch of doors uh, kind of laid out. Uh, this is a, a tavern and inn, so these must be, of course, in rooms. Uh, but on the far side, continuing, if you ignore that hallway, is another staircase that leads up even even further towards the third floor. Are the doors all closed? They're all closed, yeah. Okay. We can come back. <laughs> Very well. Uh, then you make your way oh. up the stairs into the attic. Uh, and Camila's up there and she's just kind of like sorting through stuff as you enter. Uh, but as you make your way into the attic, it actually looks um, a little different than what you expected. Uh, you expected maybe it was just storage, but as you get up there, it looks like um, a, a sort of lair of sorts, a, a hideout. Uh, there's a table set up on the far side of the room uh, with a lit lantern and all manner of just sort of miscellany scattered throughout the room. Uh, there's bookshelves, there's crates, there's um, chests, there's a, a globe, there's all sorts of strange glowing knickknacks stuck uh, stalked away and uh, piles of paper and, and inkwells on the table itself but uh, Camille notices you guys um, making your way up the stairs uh, and just goes alright welcome uh, we can use this to hide out for a little bit at least guarantee you no one is going to find us here Ooh. Uh, Sarissa, I see you immediately made your way towards the glowing, <laughs> shiny thing. <laughs> um, on the far side of the, uh, the room, there's like this, uh, interlocking kind of metal ring structure. Um, it's honestly a little bit confusing in its, in its shape and form, and you're not really sure what it is. Uh, but it's made from shiny metal and has this sort of glowing, uh, blue core at its center that kind of turns and and gently kind of pulses with that uh, almost ebb and flow. Ooh. Can I like, uh, roll what, that, to see what good. it is? Oh. <laughs> <Why don't you laughs> I was, mm, it's tempting, but no. Can I like roll, like, Roll can Arcana, you can Ooh. roll Investigation. Ooh, uh, maybe not Investigation. That's a negative. You can roll Arcana, uh, then. Okay, yeah, I want to know what this thing is. What's this shiny thing? Never mind! <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, in fact, Camille, Camille actually sees you, like, fiddling with it. Um, and says, uh... I'm not actually sure what that is. It was left here by one of the patrons and just stuffed up here, I think. Uh, but I have no idea what it does. It just sits there and glows, as far as I can see. Ooh. 
Um, but you do you do take a look at the surface of it, and there is actually an obvious um, like kind of metal plaque on the front of it. Um, there's nothing written on the plaque, but there is actually an indent in the metal. Um, and I imagine um, it would be fairly obvious what the shape is. Um, there's sort of an indentation into this metal in the shape of a key um, with the sort of head of the key, the part that you'd hold, uh, in the shape of a water droplet. Ooh, mysterious. Ooh. Um, you said a patron left this, right? I think it was before my... All right. Average we right uh, But yeah, Camille, Camille continues and says um, to your question. Well, it was per before my time. Um, folk just sort of leave stuff here all the time. And it just compiles. That's how all this chunk got here. Ooh, I'm not really sure what half of it does, but then I'm not really well versed in magic myself. Mm. Like, so he's just like, like almost like leaning around, like looking it over. It's shiny, whatever it is. She don't know what it is. It's shiny. She's interested. She's like, well, you wouldn't suppose they left anything else with this thing. I mean, I know you said it was before your time, but maybe like a a key or something. Not that I know. Oh, skits. suppose you could. Suppose you could ask about her on town, though, if you're that curious. Ooh, absolutely. <laughs> um, and Thena, there's uh, like a an archery target set up here with a couple of arrows uh, embedded into it. Uh, but you also see that there's kind of tucked away in the corner here. There's like um, a flask holder with a bunch of little vials. Um, in it, two of which are, are giving off like a soft glow. There's a red one and a green one. Can I like, would I know what they are, or can I make some kind of check to see if I could, perhaps, <laughs> see what they are? Um, you could make uh, medicine or arcana. Okay. Um, my medicine's better. Okay, sixteen. Um. They're, they're certainly not potions of healing. Oh, um, all right. And they don't resemble any medicine that you might be familiar with, so you estimate that they are probably not that. Uh, you can see a, a faded label um, on the green one, um, but the red one doesn't appear to have a label at all. Hmm. Uh, you can make a perception on the faded label to try to read it. Yeah, I'll do that. 17. Uh, with a 17, you kind of have to squint a little bit and you have to unfurl the label a little bit. Um, but uh, though it's barely legible, you manage to make out uh, most of the words of Potion of Featherfall. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab both of them, honestly. I think. I'm not sure if Camille is, can notice, but like, I'll try to do it discreetly, but like, not, you know, I'm not like stealthy or anything. Just kind of like slip them into my bag. Um, Camille actually sees you doing that um, and just goes, You're welcome to take whatever you want. We're a team after all, right? And she smiles. Oh, well, <laughs> Anthony will smile back and she's like, All right, wonderful. And well, and to be honest, if it's still sitting here in the attic, then I've not found any use for it. And I'll just continue to just kind of rifle through a couple of things, or a, a couple of the little uh, crates and whatnot, see if there's anything else interesting. Um, I will say just about the two little uh, potion flasks that you snatched up. Um, the the green one, the potion of Featherfall, has enough for just like one dose. Um, okay. But the red one is actually more full and has enough for two doses. Ooh. Once I figure out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Do you want me to put that like in my inventory or just make um, note of it? I'll handle it at the end of the session. Okay. I, I go back right, through cool. and add, in, add items to inventory. I don't like doing it in the middle of the session, so. Fair enough. I just do it yeah. again. Um, Leah, you poke about in this kind of old 
uh, trunk of drawers here that's got um, just a bunch of like papers and rolled up scrolls. There's just kind of like assorted writing on, on all manner of topics. Knowledge. Um, it, it appears like maybe it's from a bunch of different authors as well based on the handwriting. It's just kind of like a, a chest that's full of assorted papers that people left behind in their room or some of them are kind of crumpled still and looks like maybe it fell behind a desk while someone was staying. It's just kind of like old things. Do I recognize any of the like authors or anything? Or is it just um, like random people notes? Not by their handwriting, certainly not. Um, but uh, to, to read through any of it would take some time. So you can read through it later if you want. Okay, yeah. She's going to do that later. For sure. Uh, Kegox, what are you looking at? You're the only person we haven't talked to yet. Um, I've come over to this pile of blankets. I assume are <laughs> blankets. Um, it's like linens to keep the dust off of stuff. But well, that is now, basically a now blanket. I am I am putting my dusty self upon it, and uh, I'm just because I don't think like any. I don't want to sit on any of these barrels. I don't want to sit on any of these crates. I'm not sure that they can hold me. So I just kind of like recline in these in these linens and finish my meal and just kind of uh take everything in because i'm not used to a lot of this so i don't know very well um camille sort of lets you guys like get yourself situated and poke about the attic a little bit um she's a little bit amused at kind of how interested in everything you guys are almost as if she's done the same thing herself many times um mm -hmm. And uh, as, as she kind of lets you guys settle in, she just goes, Quite a lot of fascinating junk here, isn't there? <laughs> Absolutely. Sort of seems like everything that just gets tossed aside or left behind ends up here eventually. I suppose that's sort of how I, I ended up here myself. Oh? But please, you can come sit at the table. We've got something to discuss. Uh, you can hold Alt to uh, oh. sit off the, off the grid. <laughs> um, <laughs> looks over at you, Kagox, and goes, I do think the chairs will hold you. If that's what you're worried about. They're rather sturdy woodworking. The chair have to roll a strength check. Strength <laughs> <laughs> no, Nah, he just slowly, tentatively, like pulls the chair out and then goes to sit. I hear it creak, but it holds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Camille like leans back in the chair and kind of satisfied holds her arm across her across her um her chest and. As if she's sort of not sat here for a while and is, is relishing being able to sit here again. And she looks across at the four of you and goes, Right then, about what I mentioned back in the prison camp. Little job that you might have interest in. Well, I suppose... Let me start from the beginning. Um, she kind of raises one of her hands and you see her sort of like snap her fingers and there's like a couple sparks that shoot out as if she's a little like rusty. Um, and after several attempts, um, eventually you see the sparks kind of sputter into like a blue haze and the blue haze eventually forms into, oops, uh, into... Uh, a sort of shimmering uh, face, uh, sort of hovering right above her open palm. Uh, mm -hmm. And she says, oh, Hold on, hold on.
double checking to make sure this chain didn't disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> um, she says as the image sort of fades in and, and solidifies meet Lady Gwendolyn Gaunt hails from Middlemere like myself well, she abandoned the kingdom when the silver famine hit adopted from nobility adopted into nobility and granted the gaunt name and the keys to the family businesses. Don't let the laugh lines fool you. This woman would sell her own father if she thought the price was right. Antiquities, gemstones, artifacts, you name it, she collects it. Gets her grubby little hands on the shiniest of things through backhanded deals, strong arm tactics, and God knows what else. Hoards it all in her vault at Evermore Banking and Holding. Then sells it off years later for the highest possible price. Ever heard of the holy relic of St. Willow's Cross? How about the bones of Elric Aethelstan? The Emberlight Heart? <gasps> all hers, stuffed away in that bloody vault. But not for long. You see, I've recently mm, ended my time in Lady Gaunt's employ. I know her routines. I know her patterns. I know her. There's never been a better time to rob her. To show her she ain't so untouchable after all. All I need is a team and some preparations. She looks at you all expectantly. You can see something kind of gleaming in her eyes. Are you all in? Is she the reason that you got arrested? Um, she kind of pauses at that question and then a little bit almost like embarrassed, just like nods. <laughs> yes, it's complicated. Well, I'm in. This gaunt has something of mine. I need it back. Well, if she's got something of yours, then it's a pretty damn good chance she's storing it in that vault. You you said that she has in possession the the Emberlite heart? Heard her talk about it in person. Ah. <sighs> hmm. I can guarantee you it's stored away in that vault of hers. I mean, look at that. I'm sure a gemstone of that value would surely impress Lady Deetra. Um, <clears throat> before I decide. I would like to know, you know, the risks involved. Well, if we get caught, we're probably headed straight back to prison. And I will say, Lady Gaunt does have quite a mean streak to her. And she does favor vengeance. You see her rub her wrists. Ooh, uh, at the, the red, the, the red markings. Yeah, the uh, from the ropes that she was bound in. Oh, it wasn't the uh, water, like. Was it the, what do you call it? Uh, she doesn't rub at, at those burns, but um. Uh, she she does rub at the 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 binding. Hmm. Okay. The, the markings from the binding. And so if we get caught, well, I'm sure she'll do everything in her power to punish us. So that's a major risk. And of course, there is the town watch itself. As far as I know, they're not in her pocket. At least not yet. But I can't imagine that the Mary Swa family would be all too pleased to know that there are thieves in their city performing bank heists. Mm. 
And well, from what I know of Evermore, though I've never actually been inside, it is a pretty high security building. So I can't imagine getting into it would be all that easy. They're sure to have defense mechanisms in place. So you can add that to the list of risks as well. But I promise you it will be worth it. Mm. Even just a fraction of what Lady Gaunt owes, owns is enough to set anyone up for their entire lifetime. And mm. will be at whim to take any and all treasure that we want when in the vault? Well, to be entirely honest with you, I don't know if we could even take all of it with us. But if we get inside that vault, you're welcome to take whatever you want from it. All right, then. Well, that sounds like a no-brainer to me. Mm. Well, she doesn't sound like the most pleasant of ladies. So I assure I, you, she's really not. So I suppose if the Ember Light Heart goes or is removed from her possession, then it's just uh, a bout of misfortune on her end. Um, she kind of like grins at you, Cerise, and goes. The Ember Light Heart is one of the most valuable gemstones in the world, and if you took it out of her collection, she probably wouldn't even notice it was gone. That's how rich she is. Oh, then mm, she wouldn't miss it if I been to snatch it for my lady Dietra. Wouldn't oh. even know it was gone, she assures you. I suppose... You've convinced me. Good. And you? She looks at you, Leah. You've been rather quiet. How I think Andina also, also looks over and she's like, Camille did say there were bones in there. You seem to have a fascination with them. Um, Leah just kind of like touches her necklace a little bit and she's just kind of sitting there. Uh, and she turns to look at Camille and she says, I'll do it. I don't care about the risks. Good. Then we're all in agreement then? I have a quick question. Did Camille say what she was after? No. <laughs> okay. Are we all in agreement then? Are we a team? Looks that way. Hmm. It looks that way indeed. Though, excuse my curiosity, what is it that you're after? Um, she looks a little bit like almost surprised by the question as if she wasn't expecting it to be asked. Um, uh, and then just looks right at you and just goes, Revenge. <laughs> Revenge, huh? It's a pretty good reason. Hmm. She did something that I... She can't ever take back. And well, the only thing she cares about in this world is money. Then I'll make her coffers bleed. Well, I won't pry any further if it is too much. Forgive me, I was only just curious if you were after something specific in the vault. I just want to see the vault empty. Reward enough for me. Well, some gold wouldn't hurt, that's for sure. Hmm. Now then, if we're a team, then we'll need to 
agree upon our next steps, yes? Mm hmm. I've put some thought into it while you lot were eating. And I think that it would be most prudent to begin with a, a phase of scouting, so to speak. There are a few things that we need to handle first. First things first, we should ask about our own town. See if we can pick up any interesting leads there. Ask about Lady Gaunt. Ask about the bank itself. Mm-hmm. I've been away from Marin Hall. Some of you are new here. And I- Twizzlers. <laughs> Major Twizzlers. They're like pop rocks in your mouth when they stalk you. <laughs> mm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Delicious. We're back. Um, so, uh, Camille says, we should begin with a, a, a phase of scouting. Uh, ask about our own town, get our finger back on the pulse, see what's changed in Marin Hall. See what, uh, see what we can find out and learn from there. We need a lot of preparation, so the more information we have, the better. Uh, mm-hmm. You can start by maybe asking about around some of the local taverns, restaurants, cafes, anywhere where people congregate and gather. Mm-hmm. See what you can find there. As well as just get the lay of the land. Make yourselves familiar with Marinol. Mm. I think the most important step in our little scouting phase, if you will, is scouting Evermore itself. Like I said, I've never been inside, so I'm not entirely sure what we're up against. But if we can find a way to get inside, well, in truth, you can just walk into the lobby as if you were going to place a deposit, but I don't imagine you'll get much further than the lobby without a reason. Mm. So if we can find an excuse to scout out the bank ahead of time, then at least we'll know what we're dealing with before we do the actual heist. So put some thought into that, but... Don't just rush off into scouting the bank. We want to show our faces there as little as possible, right? Agreed. But once you've scouted out the bank at least a little bit further than the lobby, then we can regroup back here and see what we've learned. I'm gonna ask about around town and see if I can find some stuff out as well. But I'll leave you to your business and allow you guys to scout the bank itself, since you seem plenty capable and well. You're a little more well versed in magic than I am. And I suppose mm-hmm. the third part of our preparation phase is to see if we can find any more allies. I'm sure there's plenty of people around town who, well, have either been wronged by Lady Gaunt or have an interest in attaining quite a bit of wealth in a very short amount of time. So we may be able to find people who can help us with our little heist. If I might make a suggestion of one, not a person in particular, but someone who might be helpful is an insider, someone who knows the bank. Mm. Imagine they'd be invaluable for something like this. But I'll leave it to you lot to decide who we recruit. I trust your judgment. So if you trust them, then so do I. If you want to invite them in on our heist, then just send them back here to the attic and I'll speak to them, fill them in on everything we've done so far. But other than that, that's that's where I think we should start. One, scout out around town, see what we can pick up. Two, scout the bank itself. And three, find allies. Does that sound good? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Then, imagine you might be tired from walking all night, so feel free to rest here. Don't worry. Domingo and I are old friends, so I'm sure he'll let us stay here for free if I just... uh, just beg and plead a little bit for a while. And promise to to wash the floors at night. Uh, Tell him I can maybe take over a shift or two playing in, you know, music or anything. if, If that helps. 
Oh, well, I'm sure you'd be happy to hear that. I'll let him know. Hmm. And if he needs a healer for anything, I will also offer up my services. Perfect. And if he needs anyone to look at bones, <laughs> just, just call me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well, I'm not sure if that will come up, but if it does, you'll be the first to know. How's that? Sounds good to me. Very well, then. I I'll leave you all to, to get to it, then. Come on back to the attic if you need my advice about something. I do know Marinholt fairly well. Uh, but last thing, I suppose, is... Uh, she just kind of slides the, the paper to whoever will take it, but she's got, like, a folded... Um, parchment that she will she will slide to whoever reaches up their hand first. I'll reach for it. Alright. She slides it to you, Anthena, and she unfurls it to show you uh, this. Uh, all, all of you can see. Ooh. <gasps> nice. Uh, she, she shows you uh, a map of Marinhall, the city itself, and uh, He's even jotted down some labels of some of the uh, more prominent features of the city itself so that uh, you can navigate, she says. I imagine this will probably help you get to lay the land a little bit. But again, if you need anything, just come back and talk to me in the attic. I I'm a little bit more of a known face around here, so I am going to try to lay low so that I don't blow our cover, if that's all right with you. Um, if it would be helpful, and I, I think Anthena turns to uh, looks at both Camille and also Leah, um, I, I've got kind of um, some tools in regards to uh, disguises. So if if we think that we might need something to help, uh, you know, change you two, that I, that is available. And I have a disguise mm. kit, so it has like um, like hair dye and like props and cosmetics and stuff. So like. I, I don't know. I don't know if we think we'll need that, but just in case, if Leah is a little worried about getting spotted, <laughs> it depends on where we go. But it would probably be safer rather than not. <laughs> okay. If you, want, right. <laughs> if you want my advice on the matter, I imagine that the three of you—she uh, points to everybody but Leah—I don't imagine that you'll be stopped on the streets uh, again. The guard's not even given word of your escape yet, so... I, I do think that we're safe for a little bit. Uh, Leah, it depends on how much you're known in town. I, I would maybe disguise yourself if you're going near the Marisois Manor, uh, as that would be where there are the most guards. Uh, but if you're not going to that side of town, I don't think you need bother. But again, better safe than sorry, so do as you wish. I'll keep it in mind. Well, I'll leave you to it then. We'll regroup when we've got more information, yeah? Yeah. We can fill each other in each night. Hmm. Sounds like a plan to me. So exciting. We're like, we're like a, a proper, like, crew. Um, yeah, Camille actually kind of like beams at you and says, it's been a while since I've done anything with, with, well, with other people involved. It's kind of nice having other people to rely on. Yeah. This is a, a little bit new, new for me. Um, you know, I've, last time I, I did something like this, it, it didn't pan out super well. So looking forward to new experiences. Well, as long as we keep our wits about us, I'm sure everything will just go smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Very well then, I'll see you all at sundown, and we can update each other on our progress. I don't know about you all. And with oh. that, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, we, we can end the session there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, as you all uh, stand from the table and uh, turn your attention back to uh, perhaps even just place your things downstairs. Um, <laughs> yeah. We will uh, we will end the session there and pick back up again next time as you uh, uh, decide what you want to do first. Uh, so we will we will call that a session. Yay! Woo! Yay! Toot toot! Toot toot! <laughs> Alright, let's head over here. Okay. Session one. Session one. That was pretty good. I, I had a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Yes. I like the combat opening. That was, was not expecting that. <laughs> Yeah, the hot Probably start. Would, uh, yeah, yeah and me Airdrop you right, right down into it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Or naked little rats. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they started. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. true. Hey. This is true. This is true. Um, but yeah, so um, uh, as is as is routine, you'll hear me say this uh, dozens of times. So get ready for that, I guess. Um. <laughs> Uh, off the top of our heads, uh, does anything interfere with just doing this again next week? Mm. Same time, same place? Good with me. Works for me. Yeah, should be good with me. Good for me, too. Perfect. All right, so we will we will pencil it in as a yes for next week. Same time, 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Uh, if anything changes, please do let me know, and we can always make adjustments if needed. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is where we shall end the session for today. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of, uh, little moments that I really enjoyed, uh, scattered throughout that entire session. It was, uh, it was really, really good. And, uh, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this campaign. I already was, but now I am even more. <laughs> yeah. there's, uh, there's some fun characters here. <laughs> and, uh, I'm very excited to... to learn all the lore. <laughs> oh, there's lots of lore. There's always lots the of lore. lore. Learn the, the lore. lore. The lore goes crazy. I've already started taking notes, guys. This is a problem. <laughs> Me okay, too. I'm probably a note taker. I was I wasn't taking notes, but I feel like I'm gonna start like once we start collecting like info. Oh my god, yeah. I yeah. will if if I deem notes to be important, like things that I read off to you. Um, I will add them to your to your note, uh, in the oh, journal. Cool. Um, so that you can reread them if need be. Um, even when we're not playing, you can log back into Roll20, launch the game, and read it. Um, so, uh, do check back there. Um, I'll, I'll make another one after this session that's just, um, Camille's to-do list, um, that she gave you at the end of the session there, that little one, two, three. Um, because I figure it's nice to have, like, a little sticky note in the corner of your screen that's like, what were we doing again? Sure, so um, you, I already have a sticky note in the corner of my screen that says exactly that. <laughs> So uh, I'll make a little thing that says those those three things that she asked you to do, and uh, then you can reference that uh, if you ever forget where you're at. Oh, where do we Ooh. find the notes? I'm sorry. Um, so in roll twenty on the right side of the screen, where you've got all those tabs. Yeah. Um, there's a journal tab that looks like a little book. Oh, okay. And then you can see all your characters in there. That's where you can drag yourself back on the screen if you accidentally delete yourself. And you can, um, if, if you're not on the screen for some reason, like I forgot to bring you on to the screen, uh, then you can drag yourself in. Um, but um, there will also be, uh, we can add this now. Uh, it should be oh. another folder now. Oh, yeah. For Camille. Yeah. Um, so I'll add like important people that you meet that will be re reoccurring. Um, so that she can remember their names. And uh, then below that, there should be a notes section, too. Right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Perfect, okay. And then that's where all the notes will go. So I'll, I'll make a note there of um, Camille's to-do list. <laughs> I want to find this Harold. Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's living a horrible life. Maybe he's dead. He might be dead. Hey, you know. 
His body is probably not that far from that chest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like a few feet down. Yeah. Like, oh wait, is that a body? <laughs> um, I was gonna pull up the the two uh, Rika special art pieces. <gasps> yeah, the Rika special. Yes. Yes. Did you send me? You sent me the crop version, but you sent me a full one, right, Rika? I think I did, yeah. I got I got the kickoff one. I'm just gonna scroll back. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I will open these two. They're massive, by the way. I'm very sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be the slightly crunchy versions, but it'll be fine for the stream. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go back over here, and we will zoom in a little bit. So. Uh, everybody, this is Kegox, uh, drawn by Rika, who plays Theresa. Um, <laughs> and uh, really, really good art. It's excellent um, you, you, art. You got, uh, Rika, you can also <laughs> post them both in the art channel on the Discord. Heck yeah. So people can see them. Oh, yeah. I want to see. Yeah. Uh, and then any little doodles you guys do, if you ever dabble in, in, in a little doodle of something. Or if yes. you make a meme, feel free to post them in their respective channel. It's me. Um, I'm going to make the memes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm apologizing now. Uh, yeah, so this is our, this is Kegox, our uh, Loxodon Mammoth Barbarian. Um, and then also we have, uh, also drawn by Rika, we have Sarisa, our Yuan T pureblood uh, cleric. She's so cute. Thank I you. love her. Um, totally adorable, yeah. And then, uh, just to just to fill everybody in in case they weren't aware, we have our bard clearly, uh, and <laughs> Thena. Um, and we have our wizard, Leah. <laughs> um, are you, you're not a wizard of anything yet, are you? <laughs> um, not yet. I will be soon. Okay. <laughs> level three. Just, just, just level just, three. <laughs> just generic wizard right now. Level three, I'll be a specific wizard. <laughs> I love the, the look of both of the two other girlies. It makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, our resident maid. <laughs> oh, I love, I love her. her. <laughs> <laughs> I actually need all of the NPCs um, full screen right now. Every so, single one? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Even... Um, even Ed. How many, <laughs> Even I, I wonder Ed. if I actually counted how many files I have. How many MPCs oh, are actually God. in there? Oh. I, wonder, I wonder if there's an easy way to see. Uh, there are... There are... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Grant? Uh, 100, 124. Oh yes! <laughs> All right, you have to go through every single one of them and full screen them right now. Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to see all at the them. same time. You haven't met any of them yet. No, I have to see all of the ones and then see if they're hot. Obviously, uh, time, will, time will tell. You'll be able to meet them all eventually. Yay! One of them at least. Has to be that a promise of a lot of hot NPCs. Yeah, hot NPCs, hot NPCs. I mean, like usual, hot NPCs. I'm, I'm, yeah, not hot gonna, NPCs. I'm not gonna say it, but I will say that apparently I have that reputation. So it's true. Oh, Every fucking go. campaign, there's so many hot NPCs. Everything, <laughs> every NPC, sexy, everybody. I just everyone I just, is hot. I think I just Even aspire to ones. see. I just aspire to see more beauty in the world. I think that's it. Wow, that's, that's so deep. That's a really, yeah, really? that's a really nice and deep. That's, that's a nice way. Of, I would just say I put hot people in my campaign because they're hot. It's true. Wow. It's true. Can confirm. I'm looking at. I try. He, he, he's literally wearing a mask all the time. Yeah, and how he looks under that mask is is really good. All right. Calm yourself. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we will, uh, we will wrap up here unless anybody has anything to add. No. Any, any particular moments that you enjoyed or, or anything like that? Just the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. very fun. It's always hard. It's always I hard. really liked, 
I really like the music that you were playing. I think it was called yes. Miss Green's something. Miss Green's that was melody. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. I was I was vibing over here with that. Yeah, that, really that, that's like your uh, that's your that's your headquarters. That's your safe house thing. Oh, nice. That's from, it was so good. Uh, Octopath Traveler two, uh, which has Support a really that. really good score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also I'm very excited by such a large town map. Um, I feel like there's a lot to explore yeah this this was a bit of a nightmare to, to pull back the curtain just the tiniest little bit this is campaigns like this are always a little bit of a nightmare to prep because you kind of just need to have like everything done when you start <laughs> um because it's, it's such a big city that you can kind of just go where you want and i want to give you guys that freedom but that means that i have to have all the maps ready yeah so, yeah but now you have them all done so you don't have to worry about it i mean they're not all done i will say that oh okay i, I, I prioritize the ones that are like the stuff that you can access, but you know, there's still there's still progression and steps to take. So, what if there we get into the vault next I session? I mean, <laughs> we just go in luck. there. Good we luck just with walk that. in. <laughs> you can try your hardest, but that might end very poorly. I cast a charm person, and we just walk. I right cast a uh, charm person, and charm person, and charm person, and charm person, <laughs> and charm person. <laughs> you really think I wouldn't have thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> Ask yourself that, Olivia. <laughs> They're all free uh, and they have I'm scared energy. now. <laughs> you what? should be. I'm it's scared. a high security vault I'm that you just I, 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 I doot my trunk aggressively. And what did you oh. say about my mother? <laughs> right this way, <laughs> sir. All right, come inside. <laughs> you got anything you want? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could play the trumpet like that. All right, <laughs> come right in. Bro is bro is sick <laughs> with it. You didn't know he was cool like that. Yeah, didn't know he was chill like that. <laughs> but he was like, I see dead people. And they're like, oh, God, <laughs> come right in. <laughs> come right in, ma'am. Please. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll get right back into it next week. And we'll uh, in the scouting phase. Yay. Yay. Yay! Have it separated into phases so that it's more digestible. <laughs> Phase one. Phase, Phase one. one. It feels, it feels more really dramatic. You gotta, you gotta case the joint, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you need intel. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the in intel gathering phase. Perfect. I'm already, I'm already so excited because this is like giving. Like similar vibes to one of my favorite books, which is called Six of Crows, and it's like a oh, like I a love Six of Crows. Yeah, and so already I'm like, oh my gosh, this has this has fun vibes, just like a, a band of nice. little silly people. <laughs> I do really like ice, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just it's, and it's fun to play. Yeah, it's going a good on. genre. Erm, um, did you just steal your plot from hit movie Ocean's Eleven or whatever this was? <laughs> I think, uh, to, to be entirely honest with you, if you're going to write a heist, you should probably use Ocean's Eleven as a good structure for it. Like, really just like, that's just like, that's just like good advice. Like, Ocean's Eleven just has everything that makes a heist good in it. Fair enough. So you should like use it as like a checklist to see if you're doing it right. Would now be like the worst time to say I've never seen it. You should see it. I've never heard of Olivia, it. Olivia, you're watching yeah. it. Okay, we'll watch it at your house. Okay. <laughs> we'll have <to> come over. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a very fun heist movie. I've seen parts of like Ocean's 8, but I uh, Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. You don't like Ocean's 8? No, 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 no. We don't talk about the, the modern reboot. We talk about We talk about <laughs> either the original all the way back in the day. Or the the actual good reboot, <laughs> the the Brad Pitt George Clooney one. Yeah. We don't need the third. We're getting we're getting too far into the the weeds if we're talking about the third reboot. <laughs> and if I said I didn't know who George Clooney was, Olivia, I'm kidding. You... I'm okay. Am I joking? Who you will know. <laughs> you oh, will never know. <laughs> I was gonna say you you don't know one of the Batmans. You don't know one of the Batman. Uh, um, the only Batman I know is Lego Batman. Actually, <laughs> that's the best <laughs> Batman. Objectively, that's best, the best. Objectively, one. best Batman. Like I hate to say it, but he's really I, fucking yeah. Right. Like in all iterations, that's the best Batman. That's the best Batman. <laughs> Arguably the best Joker too, but nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. I mean, you know, I'm partial to 
the Nolan movies Joker because I think Heath Ledger just has a really good performance, but Lego Joker is really good. I have never seen the ones with um, Heath Ledger. <laughs> Ever? I'm, really? I'm actively twitching. <laughs> I am actively twitching. Oh, uh, so I'm sorry. I will, oh, I'm just God. letting everybody know now. I am so out of touch with like any <laughs> type of movie or TV show pop culture. I will literally make you pop a blood vessel from shit uh, I haven't okay. seen. No, no, that's sick. See, now, we can, now we can just steal everything and, and she'll never know that, that we just I won't. Won't. I literally won't know. I've she'll never think that seen we're, she'll anything. Think we're, that we're geniuses, but we've just stolen it. This is, this is I watched. Cool. There are so many movies that I've seen like for the first time recently, like North by Northwest. Like I've only seen it once, and it was like last oh, year. Oh, or like, like I've never seen The Shining. I've never oh. seen it. I don't want to watch it. I've never. I've never seen Silence of the Lambs. I've never oh. seen it. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> I told you I was going to make you pop you a blood vessel. You literally just take the plot from the Felix the Cat movie and then nobody would know. <laughs> Never seen it, so for, I wouldn't know. For some reason, for some reason, I, I genuinely heard when you when you said that, Silence of the Lamps. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> just, everyone silence your lamps moving. for a moment. Yes, I've like, actually never seen Silence of the Lamps. Um... Very, Great. I, I, I've never seen that one either. It sounds good. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely like indie underground film. Not a lot of people. Um, but yeah, no, I've never seen like Independence Day. No, um, I've seen uh, like one Jurassic Park movie. That's maybe. all you need to see. For I'm sorry. I've seen all of the Star Wars it. movies. I couldn't tell you what happens hey. in any of them, but I've seen all of them. <laughs> that's that's like baseline. Like, I'm sorry, but anybody that hasn't seen the original three Star Wars movies. You need to watch them. Again, don't remember cold. anything. I don't remember any of it. Um, but I have seen them. So it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. why, why, why is the stream so stable when we're talking about fucking Star Wars? Because <laughs> 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 we're not trying to balance roll 20. <laughs> Twitch knows what the people want. I, I got everything still up in here. What's, what's going on, Twitch, huh? What's changed? Twitch, what's changed? Twitch, 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 let's, Twitch. let's sit down and talk. Twitch just likes when um, somebody says, I'm ignorant about a subject, and someone else goes, I'll educate you. That's what Twitch wants. They That's really they need want. to make sure that they hear us ramble about movies. Mm. Yeah. Twitch, Sorry, I'm a film major, so I, every time we talk about movies, I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna talk about movies. Gabby, what <laughs> if I said I have never <laughs> seen any movie ever? What would happen? I think, Honestly, I, think... I would be envious of you, because that is yeah, uh, you can watch them a privilege. All. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's so many movies I just like haven't seen, and everybody's like, oh, "You've never seen that?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, we should we should wrap up. <laughs> 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 this, 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 already four hours. this is a riveting conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's very it's very riveting, but I just think I'm we so should sorry. probably wrap up the stream. I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, thanks thanks for stopping by. Thank you, players, for playing with me. And uh, it was a really good time. I'm looking forward to playing again soon. And uh, thanks, viewers, for, for stopping by and, and joining us and keeping us company and laughing along with us and adding your jokes. Chat is really funny. They genuinely are. Um, mm -hmm. And they always make me laugh, and I always have to, like, cover my mouth so that I'm not interrupting your conversations because chat's in the background making me laugh about something. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, the next uh, the next session of Gaunt's Gold, uh, our heist campaign, uh, will be next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the next actual stream, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no I, I'm sure. I'm sure. I actually do. I do know. I was going to say, didn't you things. make a schedule? Yeah, I made a whole schedule. I, see, I'm like so used to not having a schedule that I'm like, it's still not clicked in my brain. I'm so used <laughs> to just being like, oh, we'll stream when we want to stream. But actually, we'll be doing some Helldivers 2 on Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, yeah. with, uh, with the gang, with Rika here, with Wolfen, <laughs> with Seraphin, with the gang. Uh, for democracy, we will be uh, dying for repeatedly. Tee hee, democracy. Throwing, <laughs> throwing our bodies upon the, the meat grinder of democracy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, stop by for that, or uh, stop by next week for some more streams, and uh, I will uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, chat. Thanks for joining me, players, and have a good night, everybody.
You guys can Night stay alive if you want. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, everyone.